Alright everyone, we are now just a few days away from the start of this year's World Two Track and Field Championships. And something interesting has been released from DraftKings. That's gonna right, be crazy. It's a betting website on different sports and different athletes. And they've actually ah. released sprinting events showcasing who they think is the favorite and what odds are based on which athletes. And let's take a look at the men's 100 meters because it is just kind of strange. So, you've got Fred Curley up I don't front like at the positive 250. Ads. That's not really surprising to me. He was last year's world champion. He's run 9.76. He is a very consistent runner. And up next, you have Noah Lyles. I will say that Noah Lyles is a very good, consistent championship athlete, but the 100 meters just isn't his primary event. I think he's going to peak well this season. Yeah, he's going to do very 200. solid in this year's world championships, probably more so in the 200, but this has him way ahead of athletes, such as Ferdinand Amanyala, Lamont Marcel Jacobs, and Zarnell Hughes, who's actually ranked at number one in the world right now. And then at number three, we have yet another very surprising athlete, and that's Asama Singa. This is the world junior record holder, 18 years of age, but he's also the athlete that was recently discovered to be on a performance enhancing drug yeah, at least that's the accusation playing, at right? the moment so the fact that he's even on this right now is a little bit troubling a little bit confusing so i don't exactly right. know if he's they not realize what's happened so far with race, Sama Singa. at least i don't know if DraftKings does but he's in third which is pretty stunning considering that he's 18 years old if you look past the drug accusations this is pretty amazing and he's only plus 50 above noah lyle so that's so pretty he's amazing taking next some... we've got let's see lee tobogo a huge Allegedly. threat over the future of sprinting and he's also really really talented in the 200 meters so again I see him as a 100 meter threat to potentially make it to the finals but I'm not really seeing him as a top three or top four finisher this year honestly I think if right. many athletes they're gonna finish much higher but Jack, that's just my opinion Jack Kings then at number five are the one that's on drugs. this the is hell? probably the one that I disagree with most I think that if Hughes is in the same form that we have seen for the previous few weeks he's gonna perform much better than fifth place now he's not that far behind he's positive 600 but still, he's run a 9.83. In that race, he crushed Christian Coleman, and I just find this a little bit off, personally. Following Hughes, we've got Ferdinand Amanyala at positive 700. For a while, he was the world's fastest athlete this season, with a time of 9.84 into a slight headwind, but that was run at elevation, which I've actually forgotten about. So I think that Ferdinand Amanyala is actually placed pretty accurately. However, it's always possible that he could run something extremely quick. And number seven is Lamont Jacobs, which very much surprises me because he has been struggling a lot this season. At this year's Diamond League meeting in Paris, he got 7th with a time of 10.21, finishing well behind Noah Lyles and various other athletes. And it's also surprising to see Jacobs ahead of Akani Sembine, who actually beat Fred Curley in the most recent Diamond League meeting, so I just think Akani is way too far behind where he should be. And then falling behind Akani is Cravant Charleston, who won this year's US Championships, then followed by Christian Coleman, the 2019 World Champion and the indoor record holder in the 60-meter dash. Now, I don't expect DraftKings to be a perfect system when it comes to the track and field world, especially in sprinting. This is a very dynamic event. A lot of things have happened over the previous few seasons, and many of these athletes are starting to rise up really well, and a few athletes are kind of starting to fall off. So I think that this is an okay list. I think Curly and Lyles up at the top does make sense, but I think that Hughes and Sembine should be a lot closer. Now, I would love to hear from all of you. What do you think about this top 10 list from DraftKings? Uh, who do you think is going to win this year's world championship? DraftKings on drugs. Be <laughs> for the gold medal. Thanks for watching, everyone. The hell? And as always, until next time. I don't like that list either. I think they're, they're tripping on that one. Like, so pretty much you can bet on the race, right? Since they have the ads and whatever, I think I'm gonna. I don't. I don't gamble. But I want to, you know, bet on these on these ways, you know. Kids, don't gamble. Okay, if you if you if you a kid watching this video right now, like I condemn you from gambling. All right, do not gamble. But I do agree with what he said. Though. This list is kind of flawed. Like you know what I'm saying? Um, no allows shouldn't be that high on that list. Is like a 200 meter specialist. But I guess this because it's his name. You know, he's a superstar. So they put him on there, um, but he shouldn't be over uh, the the fastest man in the world this year. Though. He shouldn't be over that guy. So, but anyways, let me know what you guys think about this list. What do you guys think? Do you agree with DraftKings? I think they're on drugs. They're not really. That's not the thing. You know what I'm saying? They should focus on basketball or some shit. 